aren't the first lightning practitioner to sleep before the impatience, and you won't be the last. Besides, you're single. Let it go. But then just when he was almost over the guilt of it all, another voice would bring him back down to reality and say, Oh, Pete, but dude, you're a veterinarian. with his patients. His patients are probably cats and dogs and llamas and stuff. And why is that funny? Back when we had puppy dogs and kitty cats, I used to nap up all the time. I think it's sweet. Actually, don't worry about it, partner. There are plenty of other jokes in the universe we can share. Let's just get ready for tonight. A well-deserved vacation. I've got a good one for you, Violet. Lay it on me. Oh, dang. What? I think I forgot it. Well, that's a good thing, Dave. I'll be here if it comes back to you. Charged as an adult now. 
for all felony. Kids meals, Ferris wheels, God knows what else. But hey, this should turn that frown around. I invited Boss to our party. Well, of you to invite him. Fucking way. Violet says no. Violet says fuck no. I thought you said we'd have some downtime ahead. No, Violet told me you would pull something like this. Oh, yeah, no kidding. She said you'd do that too. Up the money and call it an easy gig. That's textbook, Russ. What do you think we are, stupid? Yeah, same to you. <gasps> Can you believe him? Good for you, Dave. Barbara, Sunday has a new fashion line. See you at that in my new signature dress. Let them know you mean business at the disco or in the boardroom with the amazing versatility of the premier piece and my high-end line of super stylish couture. Who's better than you, girl? I know, because Stacy Culpepper's got one, and everybody was talking about it. Let's get ours. We can't. Why not? Because we blew the money on rent again. Still, we might still have enough for just one dress, maybe. What? Again, Vi? Call Russ back before he gives the job away. We got it. But he said it was an easy gig, right? Yeah. Up the money too, didn't he? Yeah. Then what are we waiting for? about this guy okay so basically there was this guy that stole some shit from Chet what did this guy take from him truck full of cologne now this truck contains something in addition to just cologne something like what bag full of money the weird part is that the guy called us up and had the stones to taunt us after he did what he did stones or some kind of death wish because he all but gave us his address, his name and number, 
was clear as day the whole time he was fucking with us. Culpepper lives about three blocks from this dude. She's checked him out. Says he leaves in the morning, comes back in the afternoon. When he comes home, you'll be waiting for him. And that's that. The landlord's on our team, so the door will be open. Better be. Relax. The door will be open. And you don't have to worry about the noise either. Why not? Building's almost empty. Switching over to condos. Or some kind of gentrificational kind of shit. You sure this guy was working alone there? Pretty sure. Landlord says the guy's a loner. This happens tomorrow. Can you handle it? Of course we can handle it. You got the specs? Now we good? Yeah, we good. Come on, Dave. Hey, you guys hear about Bobby Sunday's new dress? Yeah, we know. Just checking. Dave! Yeah? Happy birthday. Thanks, Russ. If you keep an eye on your partner, he might be around to see your next one. Fuck off, Russ. <laughs> Ask her about Rose. I said fuck off, Russ. Who's Rose? My old partner. I thought I was your only carry, Dave. No, what happened to her? She died. How? Got shot. How? The usual way. Somebody pointed a gun at her and pulled the trigger. Who? Complicated. Well, it all kind of makes sense now. Why? You talk about her in your sleep sometimes. I do? Yeah. Why? Yeah, Mom. I can't wait until we get the dresses. Things are gonna change for us after that. Oh, hell yeah. Chain it up? Nah. This'll do.
Wake me up when the latch turns. But what if I ain't exactly the residence of a renegade day? But just keep a lookout while I go and dream about a dress. Hey girls, <clears throat> I'll stop in the kitchen if you're hungry. Do you know why we're here? Yes, I've been expecting you. I think there must be some sort of misunderstanding. We're not here to clean your bathtub or organize your closets or make you happy. Really? Yeah. We're here to kill you. Then there's no misunderstanding at all. Do you mind if I have a word with my partner? Wait a sec. Searching day.
करने dresses aren't going to buy themselves. I got it. What? I know what we could do. What? Why don't we just go in there, blast them without thinking about it? That way, we won't have to think about it. We don't even have to look either because they're never going to miss it by this time. It's a good plan, Dave. A real good one. Do you think so? Totally. But don't aim too high. Why not? You don't want to hit that little bird. Oh, yeah, good thinking. Are you ready? Ready. Let's do it. a snack. Now careful, they're hot. Um, no thank you. Don't you like cookies? Yeah, but I feel kind of bad now. Don't be ridiculous. There's oatmeal? Mm-hmm. Wait a minute. Did you put something in these? Why are you looking at us funny? No. It's just that you girls aren't what I expected. We don't picture you either. Keeps life interesting, I guess. Do you have any milk? I hate to interrupt or anything, but don't you think you girls would better reload? Excuse me, but what is your deal? I'd rather not discuss it. Why not? Well, that's my business. That's why not. What's the big... I thought for sure they'd send professionals. They did. Then why does it matter what I don't want to discuss? Wouldn't you be curious if you were us? There's a place around the corner if you need more ammo. Now we got... Ammo. Then let's get this show on the road. Expecting company. What kind of company? I'd rather not say, except to say that we probably don't want to be here when they arrive. They? Who's they? Is this an interview or a hit? Whatever, man. You got any more cookies? Maybe. Maybe not. How about this? If you shoot me, I'll tell you where they are and I'll throw in the recipe. How are you going to do that dead? Start shooting and find out. Hardy, har, har. Excuse me, I need to confer with my colleagues. Again? Yeah, again. Well, don't worry, I won't move this time. I'll be right here when you get back. I know we got to off this guy, because that's what we got to do. But I don't want to do it until I know why he wants us to do it. I mean, something's wrong here. What is this, Dave? Well, it's hash and cologne to get himself rubbed out. There are other ways. Good job, Carter. It changes everything. 
Never got the hang of these. <laughs> you must be tying your bucket list so I wouldn't split it. Where's that place again? <laughs> what place? The place where we said we could get the bullet. I thought you had some. Oh, I was mistaken. I've got a pretty good steak knife. Ew! Just trying to help. Go at the front door, you hook a right, then walk three blocks straight down. It's on this side of the street. You can't miss it. I'll go, Dave. Why can't I? Because you look 12 and I have ID. They might actually check in this part of town. Just keep an eye on him while I'm gone. And remember what I said. Okay. You guys need anything? No, we're good. So how long have you two been friends? I'm not supposed to really talk to you anymore. Oh wait, I think he got a phone message. That's all I'm saying. Now I gotta get Anyway, she's my best friend ever. I 
She reminds me of my daughter. Is that her on the phone machine? Mm. That's not important. It is, but don't let it distract you. What's with that? What's with what? The numbers you two wear. These? Yes. Oh, that's our rank. Officially, I'm killer number nine and Violet's killer number eight. And how do you move up? Making hits. Five says it beats data entry. Who's number one? No one's ever seen him. But he once killed three ninjas. With a fingernail file. <laughs> Who lives? There's a place about two blocks up from you. It looks like a hardware store. If it's closed, that's only what the sign says. You gotta take the piss. Hey, damn it, every single time I gotta take the piss. You gotta take the piss. And you're not supposed to look down when you're peeing next to another man, okay? You're looking down. I'll show you look down. I'm looking at your face. My man, why you looking at me alone? You know, you can't be worried about you sometimes. Don't you know you can pee naked, man? Not important. It's not like I'm asking you to tell me where you stashed that money or anything. I'm expecting company because of something else I did. What else did you do? I robbed somebody. Somebody else that's not our boss? Yeah. Donnie Depp. Oh and you really are serious about getting yourself killed. I figure his people will visit me today as well. Small world, because, uh, me and Vi hate those guys' guts. Two months ago, Vi ran into them, and they locked her in a dumpster. It looked like someone had taken the life out of her. Is that all they did? You mean, lock her in that trash can? Well, yeah, I mean, that's all she told me. What else were they... Lucky is such an error. I think he's smart, but he's numb.
nothing to say this time. Maybe you learned your lesson after all. Well, I got something for you to tell your boss. In this fucking economy, that chicken shit must be pretty hard up to send a little cunt like you to do a man's job. What do you want? I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, you do. The black door in the back. What's obliged? Who's here? I just saw your stupid little girlfriend. I had to tell her about herself. You should have seen her face. Just this morning, we had to whack out a couple clowns. Yeah, and we took our time doing it, too. Your stupid little girlfriend looks scared of them both those faggots put together. 
even when things were getting ugly for me. Step aside, jailbait. Or don't, if you want to be a tough guy and see what happens to you. Sure. Do as they say, Daisy. Can I ask you fellas something? <laughs> no, forget it. Come on. Excuse me? Please. Everybody! Please. Please. Very good. But I won't get into it until you hold through the hard work. <laughs> Why would you do that? So you don't get tired. We think we are stupid. Of course I think you're stupid. That's the point. You're going to have enough trouble keeping up with what I'm going to tell you as it is. If you're tuckered out too, we'll be wasting everybody's time. We don't want Mama's good whiskey going away, do we? Heck, I'd be surprised if your arms aren't burning already from keeping us at gunpoint so long. I mean, it's not like we're packing or anything. What are you afraid of? Hmm. That better? half a ton, give or take, correct? <clears throat> so, did you need much help stuffing her in that garbage can? Now, I usually don't talk to people like you in the first place, but if I did that sort of thing, I would say that you girls should have your own TV show and that they should call that program The Adventures of Donnie Fitches. But like I said at the top, I usually don't talk to people like you. Because talking to people like you doesn't make much sense. What do you mean? People like us? What the hell kind of people are we? <laughs> Dead ones. <laughs> what? <laughs> Get it. What? Wait, but what is it, Don? 
all these other guys. I know what they'll do. I thought you wanted us to kill them. You jealous? Kind of. I take the fire escape. I'll stall them. Otherwise, they're gonna kill us all after they see what happened in here. Go. Well, you should come too. No, no, I shouldn't. This way, I'll buy you some time. Go. Please. Go. Go. Everything okay in there? I thought I heard something. It's fine. Doris. How have you been? I thought I heard something. You know, I did too. Sounded like it was coming from upstairs again. I was sure it was coming from here. Oh. Did you try next door? Are you sure everything's okay in there? Yes. I really should go now, Dolores. You take care. Well, Dolores. I... Dolores. Dolores. Hundred and fifteenth precinct, Officer Minota speaking. Oh, I thought we were out of bullets again. We are. But I can run out and go get some more somewhere real quick. We couldn't even do it now, even if we had the bullets. Why not? I don't know. Said you wanted to see it coming. When? While you were out. Did you say anything else? Like what? Like why he wants to check out so bad? A little. Well? He's got bad cancer. It's in my pancreas and it's spreading. I'm going to die and I'd rather not take the scenic route. I don't think he has anybody who loves him either, which must be even worse. You should think about going to his funeral. You know, just so there's someone there. What? What? At the end of the day, Donnie will send the surviving members of his squad to finish the job either way. So if it's not us doing this, it'll be somebody else. And besides, this guy's dead already. In fact, the 
it's way better if we're the ones to do it, because unlike Donnie's punk, we're not going to torture him for eight or nine hours first. Did you hear something? to you anyway. You look a little messed up. What's with the heat shield? This? Yeah. I've been deputized. I'm serious, guy. Fine. I had a little incident while I was out getting the bullets. You want to talk about it? Are you interested? Always. So the second I get the lead, Three desperado stormen and hold up the spot. At first I'm thinking, I'm just gonna lay low on aisle three and let this shit be. Then one of them sees me and gets the bright idea that they should rob me too. So I proceeded to inform the perp and his pals of the multiple ways in which they might violate their mothers. So while they're trying to figure out where I got the balls, the cops show up. Was it because the place had a silent alarm? No. Was it because the cops just got lucky? Hell no. This place is a stone's throw from the 115th precinct. So the minute I remember that little detail, I'm thinking one of two things. These desperados are either stupid or crazy as all hell. Whatever the case. The cops apprehend the whole crew, and then one of the fuzzy ones is asking if I'm okay. So I said, Officer, how do you know I wasn't in on it? What makes you think a girl can't be in on it? Next thing I hear is bang, bang, bang. The guy behind the register slips and starts shooting at the curb. It seems he had a gun beneath the counter and took the robbery personally. Long story short, just about everybody ended up taking a slug or two, except for yours truly. That's how I got this one shield on me. It was blasted off a forker and just landed there. Scouts on it. Anyway, right about then, I thought it might be prudent to exit the premises through the rear. Some days, you just can't get a bullet to save your life. And here, of all places. I mean, shit, this is America, right? But how'd you get so dirty? I slipped down a banana peel in the alleyway coming back. Let's go see about those dresses. girls old and healthy. Fine. Fine. So we're out of bullets again, though. Well, why don't you use one of those guys' guns? They seem to have plenty. Who the hell did I think of that? Why don't you decide? Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna go with the 38 days. 
Alright, you ready, mister? Sure. Okay. Here goes nothing. Hardy har har. What? Are you done yet? Come again? I said, are you done yet? What are you talking about? You weren't seriously going to do it, were you? I most certainly was. Would that be? Yeah. Do it yourself. Well, why shouldn't I? It's unprofessional. How's that? Forensic. Forensic? Yeah. Forensic. Ballistic. There's a real good chance those dorks will foul everything up for us if we do it like this. I mean, Donnie's guys can even wind up with the credit if they trace the gun and bosses try to weasel out of paying us. Even worse, we might get blamed for every corpse in here. And boss would shaft us to the hilt on account of unnecessary roughness. Not to mention the gang war we might have already started. And it's not even like we can switch out the bullets because the calibers wouldn't begin to match the ones on our style and rods. So, like I said, you can do it your way if you want to, but we risk looking unprofessional and getting screwed out of a couple of hot dresses. Thinking, dudes. Forensics will fuck you. You would have thought of it too, Vi. Yeah, maybe. Maybe snakes. You do that? When did you start doing that? I don't know. Where did you get those? Off one of those guys. You mind if I smoke in your place, mister? Yeah. Yeah, you mind or yeah, it's okay? Yeah, I mind. Actually, do what you like. Doesn't matter anyway. I'll take it out to the stairs. Oh, and Violet, you might want to wipe your prints off those pieces. Put him back on the belly. Sounds good, Dave. Come on, sit up. I want to show you something. probably be a millionaire if you cleaned your ears out more often. No. Uh. Yeah. Now, what were you going to tell me? Huh? We had a secret. You were going to tell me.
is she so mad at you? She's your friend, you tell me. I'm not talking about Violet. Oh. She blames you for something. For what? Your mother's death. Why, did you kill her? No. no. She died after she left me. Then why did she leave you? She didn't love me. Then why didn't she love you? I don't know, Daisy. I don't think people have a lot of control over that sort of thing. As a husband, I wasn't much of a prize anyway. Whatever the case, she fell in love with someone else. Who? A man she used to work with. I didn't know him. I only saw him once. From a distance. They died in a car accident. How did your daughter figure that you were Fox? Well, my daughter didn't know about the affair. She blamed me for the breakup, and consequently, the car accident. Well, did you ever tell her the whole story? No. Why not? Because I want her to remember her mother the way she does now. That's stupid. You're stupid. Thank you. Did your daughter like Barbie Sunday? What? Does your daughter like Barbie Sunday? Very much. At least you did something right. Now, I'm going to get some bullets and kill her father. Tell Violet. like my partner, don't you? What's not to like? She's a sweet girl. Do you like her better than me? I don't know you as well. That's okay. I'd like her better than me, too. She might even think she can keep you alive for some silly reason. Kid. <laughs> Your question, Violet. You may ask. You ever miss the dollhouse? Not particularly. And I think I know what you're driving at, mister. But this job never got to me, aside from the sensational rush of the action. What about those men? What men? The ones you killed. That was fucking magical. Did you see that? It's a bit early to know, but career-wise, that little miracle, 
might be my Mona Lisa. If not my Billy Jean. Actually. Do you have any family? What? Do you have any family? What a random question. Well, do you? Daisy's like family. You didn't answer the question. I got a father somewhere. What's with the interview? When's the last time you and he spoke? What do you care? That long, huh? Are you afraid of what's next? You mean getting shot? I mean after that. I've thought about it. And? I haven't come up with anything conclusive. I'm not an expert or anything, but I have a theory. Hmm? I figure... I figure heaven is probably a place where nobody cares how big or small you are or what you look like. People probably don't even have bodies. They're just maybe like essences or something. But if they do have bodies, everyone's got to be naked for sure, because that's how we all showed up here in the first place, right? And also, if you have a back problem or bad knees or self-esteem issues, that stuff wouldn't bother you anymore up there. And everything's free, too. Or at least wholesale. I don't know if there are animals, but that would be cool. Oh, yeah. And when you're walking in through the gates for the very first time, they're probably playing that Louis Armstrong song. Something nice like that. Part of it came from this girl I knew. She died. It's a long story. Anyway, she thought everybody would be naked. That part was her idea. How did she die? I don't want to talk about it. I mean, I do, but when I try, it never works. Maybe someday. here from that first time you and Daisy came out blasting. Is that important? Could be. In any case, I have a feeling that my partner's not exactly holding up the reins. I've never actually really ever killed anybody. I've been using bricks. I just make sure me and Violet don't share ammunition. Like I said, she's so fierce and thorough on the job. I could pack a squirt gun. It just wouldn't matter. How do you mean holding up for rent? I mean that I might be the only one taking out the trash. Means it looks like she's been packing blanks. So what? So what? Yeah, so what? Even if she isn't taking people out, isn't it better that she's with you? Do you think your opponent's having two targets instead of one might have saved your behind a time or two? Do you understand 
she's risking her life as well. Do you think your friendship might have helped keep you sane as you wander through this life of yours? There is still the principle. We have rules, and what she may have been doing is a big no-no, no matter how you slice it. Because one day you're packing blanks, and the next you're wearing a wire. So what are you going to do about it? I'm going to have to take her out if my suspicion is true. I thought Daisy was your friend. I'm not saying I'm going to like it. I thought you said she was like family. She is. But she's a businesswoman too, so she'll understand. I always figured she'd check out first anyway. Why? Because that's how it usually goes for the good ones. Is that a hair dryer? We just missed her. Dave? She just left. Who? Rose. And was she alive? I don't know. She asked about you. What did she say? She said, I'm looking for your partner. Those were her exact words. Is that all she said? No. She said that roses were dead and violets were too. She split after that and that was the end of it. How long have you been here? She's taller than I thought. How long have you been here, Dave? I can't really tell. Time has been up now, so I don't know. I keep missing my flight. What's that? Oh, that? That too. The guy. Rose is back.
figure your way to figure it out as well. Imaginary. Or the way. You know what I've been doing today? I've been watching you and your partner. Did you hear something? That partner of yours is keen out of her mind. And she's going to put us all in a real bad spot. And we can't let that happen. I can't let that happen. I won't let that happen. Do you even know what grief her little snort is going to cause us? Well, I'll tell you. Two of the idiots that she ventilated were engaged. Do you know who they were going to marry? The police chief's stepdaughter. And you can bet the house that once they sort out all this rubbish, boss is going to be held accountable. Next to that, a garden variety gang war would be a Sunday stroll. There was a dead guy at the bottom of the steps. He saw me. Yeah. Is it wrong? What about you? I'm just wondering. Well then, let's get back to business because I'm late for my ballet class. Finish the job or face the consequences. Am I clear? Well. I got news for you, number one. Given the situation, I see why you're T.O. and all. But what's done is done, and my partner comes first. What's that supposed to mean? It means that if you try to take her out or get in the middle of our job, you're in for a world of hurt. I know what you're capable of, but we're pros too. We also know that you're coming now. You know what I wanted to be when I was your age? I don't either. I like you, kid. You're in over your head, and you're scared, yet you look death in the eye without blinking. It's admirable, but it won't save you. It won't save your partner. And it won't save your new pal. Finish the job or face the consequences. You've got her now. Sorry about that stuff I said before. Which stuff? You might call you stupid and stuff. That's okay. Did you find any more bullets laying around? Hey, you want to hear something? Mm hmm. Your daughter doesn't hate you. How do you know that? Could you? You never even met her. It doesn't matter. I still know she doesn't hate you. No. You're the daughter, too. Bye. 
to the left. Where'd she go? To get more bullets. Listen carefully, baby. When she comes back, I need for you to be the one to put me down. It's very important. Why me? Because you and me are friends, right? Yes. Will you promise me that? I can't. I need you to promise me. But I can't. I need you to do this for me. I can't. I need you to do this no, for me. No, I can't. Don't argue with me, April. But I'm dating. Just don't argue with me, girl. You promise me. Say it. I promise. You promise? That I wouldn't do that. something to show me. I tried to give it to my daughter, but she threw it back at me. I think you're about her size. Did you try it out? Can I talk to you a minute? Have you lost your mind? What's your problem? You're my problem. I'll let you borrow it sometime if that's what this is about. And it's not about a fucking dress. Yeah, right. N that's exactly right. You don't run me all the time. You don't know anybody. Or get involved in stuff or anything like that. I never went to a prom. You did, but I didn't. I'm glad you didn't. Why? Because they would laugh at you. How do you know? Because that's what they do if you're different. Everybody isn't like that, Pi. And so what if they laugh? So what? Don't tell me what I know. You haven't been through things like me. And I hope I never do if it makes me so scared. I'm not scared. Yes, you are, Pi. You don't trust anyone. 
I trusted you. What? I said I trusted you. I need to stop. The second I saw that goddamn dress on your back. That's just why. So what are you trying to say? I just said it. Say it again if you have the guts. You heard me. I'm gonna kick your ass. <coughs> My landlady was coming up the street. <laughs> I was just, just messing with her. Never shot a gun before. How was it? What are you, angling for some new shoes then? Shut up about it. You shut up about Make it. Make me. I just did. Oh, is that what you call it? Violet. What? Almost forgot I got something for you too. <laughs> share it with others in a new way. I'll do it. What? I'll write it for you. All right. Thank Dear April. That's it? So far, yeah. Dear April. I don't know if you'll ever read this. But I hope you do. In any case, Time we finally talk. Please take care of yourself. I managed to put some money in your bank accounts. Please use it to continue your education. Your mother would have wanted that too. 
Don't worry about the dead man in the bathtub. It's not what it looks like. And a long story to tell right now. Sometimes, for no particular reason, I think of you and smile. It's usually about that day that you drove out to the mall for your birthday. Your mom had the flu. She said to go on without her. I remember you wandered off, got lost. And two hours later, we finally found each other. We hugged. And you didn't want to let go. Then we went for ice cream. And we talked all the way home. I think that was the happiest day I've had. I know I probably wasn't the best father in the world. But I tried the best I could. Anyway, I've left you all that I possibly can. Love, Dad. Uh, P.S. This isn't in my handwriting. Because a friend of mine wrote it out to me. If you just leave that in the apartment when you go, I'm sure to get to it. Glad you girls came by. I wouldn't have written that otherwise.
pizza place, but I, I pressed his number instead. Long story. Hang on a sec, Phil. See you, Dave. wanted me to give something to you, too. What is it? It's a new Barbie Sunday dress. For real? Yeah. I think it should fit. There's something else in there, too. Thanks. Father was a good guy, April. He told me how you two got lost in the mall one day and then had ice cream. <laughs> 